Your business numbers right now are perfect. It's just what you need at this time. Now, why would I say that? You might say, George, look at how many clients or how few clients I have. Obviously, I, I want more and I, I should have more by now. Do you know how long I've been working? Do you know how many years I've been at this? Look at my income. I should have more right now and I definitely don't have enough. Well, let me suggest that you are placing what is enough into the wrong context. What I mean is this. Right now, how many followers do you have on social media? How many clients you have? How much money you're making is a natural result of what you've done up to this point. It is a reasonable outcome of the, cap the capabilities that you've exercised up to now. Because if you had more skillfulness, if you had done things differently, then maybe you would have a different result. But the reality is that what you've done up to now has led you here. And so what can you do? You can either blame your past self and say, I should have done this, I should have done that. No, because how does that help your current self? It doesn't. It only creates more self-blame, which is not helpful for your future action. Instead, what can we do is to look at our past actions and appreciate that we have already done the best that we could with what was given to us. We've done the best that we could. And now we can, if we find the peace in appreciating our past self and celebrating our past self, then we have the grounded, joyful attitude to now stretch more into our potential. So your business numbers are perfect right now, given what you've done up to this point, given everything, including your genetics, your upbringing, all the challenges you've had to overcome, the support network you do or don't have in your life, your astrology, everything has brought you to this point. And it's worth celebrating. It's worth appreciating. It's worth giving thanks to. Find peace in your numbers right now. By saying numbers, I just mean whatever you want to measure as your progress up to this point. And then, every day, we do this action, this dual action of appreciating what we've been brought to to, the, to this point and then stretching a little bit towards our potential to say, okay, now that I'm here, let me just consciously stretch myself towards taking a, a slightly bolder action or taking or doing something that I plan to do that I, I don't quite feel like doing because I don't feel inspired enough. I don't feel creative enough. I don't know if it's going to work. All of those are your inner resistance trying to keep you safe. And if you're willing to just soothe that inner resistance, however you do it, whatever kind of energy or emotional or mental regulation that you use, to soothe that resistance just a little bit and say, okay, all right, let me go ahead and try something a little different. Do a little bit more. Stretch in a, in a more creative direction or a bolder direction or a, or a more alternative direction, whatever it may be. Let me try a little bit more to find, what are we trying, by the way? I should, I should clarify. What we are trying is always to find the intersection between what brings us alive, what, what, what makes us so energized right now, and what makes our audience energized and live right now. In other words, you are trying to find your passion and skills intersecting with the world's wants, at least the people that, whose attention you have, your audience. And that is what we're always trying to do every day, is to say, hmm, let me find peace in where I'm at right now, and then let me do something, put something out there that might be 
even more true of that intersection because that intersection is our calling. It's our business calling, right? That sweet spot between what we love and what our audience loves. That sweet spot is our business calling. It's our authentic business calling us forward. So your business numbers, once again, are perfect right now. Do not blame. Do not be discouraged. You can be discouraged if you want, but then recover, okay? Use your practices, your inner practices to recover and say, no, let me, let me instead of being down on myself, let me celebrate and appreciate what I've done up to now. And now let me stretch us a little bit towards my potential in finding that intersection, which is where my business is calling me forward. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for your comments below. I appreciate you. So may you be well today as you celebrate yourself and as you find the courage and the joy to overcome your resistance a little bit more and stretch towards your potential. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.